Today, let's have some fun with Jumbo and Jimbo, the clowns. Let's understand the concept of division with them. Come, let's distribute four bottles equally between Jumbo and Jimbo. How many will each one get? One, two, one, two. Each one of them got two bottles. Now, there are six bottles to be equally shared between Jumbo and Jimbo. How many will each one get? One, two, three. One, two, three. Three bottles each. Look, who joined Jumbo and Jimbo? Jojo, the clown. So, now we need to distribute nine bottles equally between Jumbo, Jimbo and Jojo. How many will each one get? Three bottles each. In all these examples, we shared the number of objects equally according to the number of groups needed. This is called dividing into equal groups or division. Do you know division is actually repeated subtraction? Let's see how with Jojo the clown. Look, Jojo has eight colourful balloons in his hand. Jojo has to divide them into groups of two. Since Jojo has to divide in groups of two, he ties two balloons from eight. Now he is left with six balloons in his hand. Again he ties two more balloons from six. Now he is left with four balloons in his hand. Now he ties two more balloons from four. He is left with two balloons in his hand. He ties the last two balloons. Now he is left with zero balloons in his hand. When Jojo tied eight balloons into equal groups of two, he got four groups. Here he tied the same number repeatedly. This process of dividing the objects into equal groups is called repeated subtraction. Let's take another example. Look at Jimbo. He is juggling 12 balls. Jimbo wants to divide these 12 balls in groups of 4. Since Jimbo has to divide in groups of 4, he subtracts 4 balls from 12. Now, he is left with 8 balls. Again, he subtracts 4 more balls from 8. Now, he is left with 4 balls. Now, he subtracts 4 from 4. He is left with 0 balls. So, when Jimbo divided 12 balls into equal groups of 4, he got 3 groups. Did you have fun with Jumbo, Jimbo and Jojo?